General Skinny, during the time, revolution time, they call me General Skinny. 13 years old, I started fighting. Why they killed my mother way right before me? Why I got to kill my friend before he, he killed my wife, my woman before? So we don't have peace. Close to a million people were killed in Liberia's two civil wars. These men, when they were children, were among the killers. Some fought for Prince Johnson, whose forces killed former President Samuel Dole. Others fought under Charles Taylor, who's now serving a 50-year prison term in the United Kingdom. Now, 14 years after the fighting ended, former enemies stand shoulder to shoulder, brought together by their circumstances. They say they've been abandoned. Everywhere we go, people are chasing or running behind or every day, using stone, people calling us Zogo in our own country. We don't have rent, we don't get nowhere to lay our hair. More than 100,000 former fighters went through a UN disarmament program. Many were retrained to support themselves in peacetime, but they say no one wants to hire them. For any job, someone has to recommend you, and people say we are ex-combatants. Many are living washing cars or from other casual labor. The little they make, enough for a meal. Most sleep in the open, by the beach or the graveyard. For many of these combatants, this election represents perhaps the most important event in their lifetimes. For them, it represents a chance to restart their lives once again, but this time for the better. We expect a lot from the incoming president, because we know he can deliver the goods. Liberia's next leader will have a full in-tray, jobs, health, education. So these veterans are at the back of a very long queue. Still, for them, Tuesday's vote offers hope, and that's a start. Robert Magilla, CGTN, Monrovia, Liberia.